Okay, so we are back to this uh, pick and place tutorial. So we have our setup ready. And now we will input our program, which I've prepared. So in this pick and place tutorial, we'll be using the function move post instead of move joins. And this move post is, is based on a coordinate system just for the X, uh, Y, and Z, which is the first three syntax of this function and followed by the role pitch and your of the any factor. And they are also expressed in radian. For the coordinate system, it is expressed in meters, which I've commented here, 0 0.3 meters. And this is how it looks like. So now we, what we want to do is move our tools to grasp and release. So to do that, we will update our update the tool first. Then to release the tool, we have a function called robot robot release tool. Okay. So since our it's already released. Okay, maybe we try with the grasping first. We just need to change this grasp. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so there you go. Grasp show you more clearly. Let's rotate this uh any factor to face the camera. So we can roll the end factor to roughly 90 degrees, which is 1.57 radians. And we can also you know, raise the pitch to 90 degrees. Okay, let's give it a go. Sorry. So when working with coordinates, it's important to know your parameters and make sure that your robot does not, you know, hitting the tables and everything. I think this is a little too low. I think we can raise the joints on the Z axis without affecting the X and Y. So that is the beauty of this move post function. So we can put a 0 0.3, 0 0.3 meters, or 0 0.2 meters. Let's give it a go. Okay, there you go. And guess what? The roll pitch is not affected. So instead of moving the joints one by one, we can control the robot using uh, the coordinate system. At robot release with two. So sometimes it's also important when we initialize program if the any factor is closed we should open it up first right okay so let's give that a go let's give this time Maybe one second. And one second again. All right. Okay, so let's try with a few more coordinates. Turbo release. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, so that is it for the pick and place tutorial.
Okay, so I hope you enjoy uh, these two basic tutorials. And see you next week for the next one. Thank you.